guys, Julia here. Welcome back to another video. And today, you know what we're up to. It's already time to set up the bullet journal for June. And believe it or not, this is the last setup in this journal, which is crazy. I'm gonna end up with eight months in this thing and we're gonna send her off with a bang. And June is my birthday month and the official kickoff to summer here in the Northern Hemisphere. And one more thing, this particular June is like the hype month for my partner's birthday in July. It's one of those big milestone birthdays and I surprised him with a trip to Belize. So that pretty much brings us to the theme, little hint there. There's gonna be a lot going on with this one. I'm trying some gouache, I'm throwing in some surrealism and contemporary art styles. It's gonna be a good time. So sit back, relax, grab all the stationary things to plan along with me and let's get to it. All right, folks, so the theme for June is sailboats and it was chosen by my lovely patrons from a few other Belize trip related themes. And for the cover page, I'm working on a pretty abstract looking seascape scene. Wow, that's hard to say, seascape scene. Using my Archer and Olive Acrylographs. I am an Archer and Olive affiliate and you can get 10% off over there by using the code ROYAL10 at checkout. And it's just a great way to support the channel and save some money at the same time. So it did take a bit of time to fill these larger shapes in, but I do love how solid these ended up looking for this. For the lettering here, I'm using the font Palm Canyon Drive as the inspiration and as the reference. This particular font was inspired by retro matchbook covers, travel postcards, tiki bars, and old Hollywood. So I just thought that it matched the tropical vibe I was going for for this. I'm also keeping the sailboat for this one pretty simple and just like I did with the setting sun, I'm setting those elements above that first wave shape just to give it a bit more of a graphic look and to just have like some nice white space there. And of course, I'm adding in gratuitous amounts of unrealistic white highlights because that's the way I choose to live my life. A little bit too much paint came out there down on the bottom for that last one, but I'm gonna wait for that to dry and go back over it with the blue to patch it up. The quote is pretty quick and easy, again using that Palm Canyon Drive style lettering for the main word sale, but the quote is, Yet another Deftones lyric, sorry not sorry, it is what it is at this point. They popped up in November, then again in March, so it was about that time again. The lyric is from a lovely song called Rosemary and it goes, stay with me as we cross the empty skies, come sail with me. And yeah, matched up perfectly for the vibes, love it. I couldn't stop singing it while I was making this page, so it has served its purpose. I'm using little squiggly waves to tie in those two pages here. And of course, I'm adding a little washi tape accent and curl doodles to finish this cover page off. Don't forget to let me know what you think of this one down in the comments. For the monthly spread, I'm going to start it off by writing in the month in that same lettering style as a cover spread, and not a big shocker here as far as layout, I'm sticking with my tried and true grid layout. I've made the boxes just a touch smaller than usual. Each one is about 5x5 five five dot grid, which gives me a nice amount of white space all the way around the calendar. Once I have the bones all set up, I'm using these super cute handy little number stickers from my Bujo buddy Kate to mark off each day. And after that, you know, I got to, uh, it's time to get a little wild and I'm gonna tape off the left side of the page and I'm going in with some gouache. I just have white and blue here and then I have two jars of water. One is for cleaning brushes and the other is just for paint transparency. 
So I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel very qualified just yet to go into a lot of detail about what I'm doing here. I recently just took like a fantastic intro class on gouache by Jess Chung, I'll link that below. But this is only my second venture into gouache land. And yeah, just keep that in mind if I look or sound like I don't know what I'm doing. But in super basic terms, I'm laying down blocks of blue from light to dark and using mostly a clean brush with a little bit of water to blend out those sections. And as it's drying, I'm adding in those accent elements I'll be using throughout. But once we're in the clear, I'm sketching out where I want my little sailboats to go. These will be sort of an angled overhead view, so I don't have to really worry too much about detail here, but coloring them in, the acrylographs weren't working as well on top of the gouache because the acrylographs are water-based, so they were reactivating the gouache. So I used a lot of white with a little bit of burnt umber to get the color for the sails. Now for the bottom of the boats. I'm using acrylographs again, but the ink already has to kind of be flowing. So it basically just sits on top of the gouache and I can't do a lot of like scrubbing back and forth to make this work. And as you can see, this is an ugly phase, but hang in there with me, we're gonna make it work. Okay, so for whatever reason, these Pentel brush sign pens worked like a charm on top of everything. So I used that for the outlines, used a darker blue acrylograph for the shadow under the boat, and then of course my cartoony highlights to make everything pop, pop, pop. And this is where that surrealism comes in. So I wanted to do something a little odd and I really just had the strong desire to call back to one of my 2019 summer themes, the pool party. I wasn't filming plan with me videos then, but I do show it in my very first YouTube video flip through and I'll leave that up in the cards and down below if you wanna subject yourself to that. But yeah, pool vibes in the ocean, and this is really easy to do, believe it or not. Just draw like a random web of lines any way you want, and where they connect, you sort of make it a little thicker and sort of webbed. But pulling back that tape and removing that sheet of paper, ooh, so satisfying to see that clean edge, and that's gonna do it for this monthly calendar spread. Okay, we're on to the habit tracker page and here I'm combining techniques from the first two spreads. I'm using the acrylographs for one of the solid shapes and then I'm also using some of the gouache I have left over to fill in the other two wave shapes. And these are pretty similar to the cover page ones but with a little more dimension and our sailboat is going back up there. For the habit trackers themselves, I'm using my own calendar stickers. You can find these and other sticker sheets from past themes in my new Etsy shop that I'll link below as well. There are actually space for a five millimeter dot grid so they fit perfectly in the journal without throwing off any other planning space. For the night log, which I'm renaming the captain log this month, I'm of course splitting the page right down the middle per usual. Dinners and takeouts will go on the left and what we watch go on the right. I also mark any favorites of the month here. I have the worst movie and TV memory probably ever. And to be honest, one of the reasons I wanted to track what we watch is to see how long it takes me to completely forget characters, plots, all the things. But anyway, the centerpiece of the night log is going to be a nighttime boat scene. And it definitely has this graphic, almost logo quality, but you guys know what I do day in and day out. So it's only natural for it to have this look. But yeah, let's, let's talk police. So we'll be chartering a catamaran sailboat 
and a captain to drive the thing and we're gonna be heading out to the reef and marine reserve which should be a good old time and later on that night we'll hop back on board and do a sunset cruise with like rum punch and fresh fruit and I honestly cannot wait you guys it's it's I've actually been planning this thing in secret so Cam knows now but he didn't know anything about it until it was a done deal I'm going to attempt to vlog our time there but I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to that but I'll try and we'll see what happens but back to the spread I'm just finishing this nighttime sailboat off with some dots and stars and writing in the headers and numbers and we're gonna just go ahead and call this spread a done deal it's good The next spread is the note spread, the brain dump spread, whatever you want to call it, but I'm also going to sneak in my focus check-in here. The check-in is just a quick two-row, two-column grid where I do a little self-assessment on the four categories I said I wanted to focus on at the beginning of the year. The rest of the spread is reserved for notes and doodles while talking on the phone, but we of course got to dress it up with some washi, some coral accents, and another drawing so this one is going to be done in a completely different style mostly one color and the idea is for it to look like one of those lino cut or woodcut pieces which is a technique in print making it definitely is not going to be as detailed as some of those pieces can get but that's kind of the loose inspiration for this one and then for the clouds, I'm using a stippling technique with a Crayola Super Tip and I'm just filling in these blobby cloud shapes with a bunch of dots, trying to keep these pretty much evenly spaced throughout, just across the board. And then for some reason, I don't have it in the shot, but I'm using the Acrylograph ink mixed with a little bit of white gouache and water to make this slightly like transparent coral color happen for the setting sun. After just some quick finishing touches, this spread is ready to be filled in. The final spread for this month, for this video, for quite possibly this journal. No, no, I need to calm down. I still have the weeklies to do. But anyway, it's the weekly spread and it's a pretty simple layout, probably my second favorite next to the rolling weekly because it's just so quick to separate the page and not have to worry about doing complete boxes for each day. But over on the left side, I'm leaving space for my master project list and above that, I'm drawing in the ship wheel. I know it's not like the catamaran steering wheel. It, it won't look like this, but a girl can dream and imagine and these are just more interesting interesting to look at so here we are but yeah this is pretty straightforward outline colors shadows unrealistic highlights and we're done I'm putting in my master project list down here and if this is your first video with me first of all hello there and secondly I use this list which has its own separate key for longer term projects that span multiple weeks and even months a lot of the time but now I'm reactivating that blue gouache with the spray bottle and using that for the headers. And after a little trial and error, I'm back to that Pentel brush pen for the numbers on top of the gouache. This week, I'll have a little extra space down at the bottom since the month starts on a Tuesday. So I'm bringing back a little section I haven't used in quite a while. It's my side quest and this is just a space for things that I'm not too pressed about but would be kind of cool if I got them done sometime within the week. And yeah, for the doodle here, it's similar to the one on the last spread, but I actually remembered to show me mixing the acrylograss with the gouache and the water for that transparent effect. So the last piece is just writing in that header in the same lettering styles I've been using throughout. 
add in some of those squigglies to keep everything consistent and top this sucker off with those white highlights. And that's the first weekly spread and the setup for June. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for checking out this month's setup. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed. Definitely helps me out and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep hanging out. The Patreon kit for this month is super chill and makes recreation a breeze. There are color sheets, printables, calendars, and even stickers delivered to your door every month. Definitely check out that link down in the description if you're interested. Tiers start at just $2. But let's check out that flip through. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll be back with the reflection journal setup and then a whole new bullet journal setup Ah, very soon. So with that, I'll catch you in the next one. And if you like this video, here are a couple more I think you would enjoy.